Good afternoon. So just a follow up to last night's session. If you haven't watched last night's discussion, then feel free to do so. The stream's available on the Facebook page. So today, for those of you with uh, curiosity, an experiential curiosity around regression, I'm gonna do a non-intrusive, gentle meditation with you. Now, if you are undergoing clinical help, you've seen the clinician, before you do the session, then speak to them first to see if it's suitable for you to, to do so. Um, also, the session I'm doing is educational, purposes only, so it's not intended to treat anyone in any conditions. I'm just going to do a nice, gentle, guided session. And at any point you feel like breaking out of the session, you're in complete control. You can just come out of it as and when you want to. It's just a, a gentle meditation regressing you as far back as you're comfortable going. And, any point you can just you're in complete control and come out of the uh, meditation if you choose to now make sure that you're not operating machinery and you're safe to do so you're not driving operating machinery in a safe comfortable place and as you find yourself a nice safe comfortable place just make yourself nice and comfortable and perhaps you'd like to close your eyes and as you close your eyes if you're comfortable doing so just breathe naturally and normally. And as you breathe naturally and normally, you become aware of your heartbeat. Regression's a, a natural process. It's a bit like when you, let's say for example, you go visit your parents or you see your parents and they speak in a certain tone. It brings you back to being a, a five-year-old or perhaps you drive past a school and you have memories of your childhood and playing. And, or perhaps you just go to a town you used to live in the past and you have certain feelings or you smell the the bread in a store as you sort of going shopping it takes you back to being a child so it's a natural phenomena in that sense for now we're going to just do a gentle meditation to experience some regression and with your eyes closed comfortable closing your eyes or perhaps you might want to just focus on a spot in the wall what I'd like you to do is just breathe naturally normally and as you breathe naturally and normally, perhaps you breathe a little bit deeper through your abdominal region. And as you breathe, you become aware of your heartbeat. As you notice your heartbeat, you begin to feel calm, at peace. And perhaps you focus your attention on a time when you felt really calm and at peace and at one with the world and perhaps you go back to a time you're on vacation perhaps you go back to a time when you're on holiday or perhaps as a family gathering as you do that you just enjoy the experience and you're in complete control just enjoy the experiences as much as you can associate to the experience. Perhaps you see yourself like on the screen on TV, or you're there in the here and now. It doesn't really matter, either or. Just breathing naturally and normally, and you begin to feel calmer and peaceful, and just breathing deeper and deeper. Notice the colors, the sounds, the feelings, and where the feelings are becoming more and more calm and at peace with the world and as you feel more calm and at peace with the world perhaps you recall a vacation where you were by the sea or a beach or by a swimming pool or perhaps you were just lazing around in the sunshine and you can imagine now dipping your toes in the water and as you dip your toes in the water, there's a gentle chill and you go into your knees, knee deep. And as you make your way into the water, and it can be a beach or in a pool, or now you can get out at any time, you're in control. And there's a sensation when you first go in, this cool sensation which soon warms up. And you feel more and more warm and you go into the water to a point where you feel comfortable and safe as you go into the water you feel comfortable and safe in the water 
just feeling calm and safe and peaceful and breathing naturally normally. Perhaps you breathe a bit more deeper naturally and normally and breathing. And you can enjoy the water, you can make your way out of the water and just dry yourself off in the sunshine. And as you do that, perhaps you can start focusing on some treasured memory. And you think of some childhood memories, some pleasant ones. And if, as you think of these pleasant childhood memories, other memories come into your mind, just let them disintegrate into the atmosphere and just purely focus on the treasured memory, the peaceful memories, and just fully associate to them some pleasant, peaceful memories, and childhood memories, and really focusing on them, and breathing in naturally and normally, feeling peaceful. And perhaps you focus on one memory specifically, one childhood memory. And as you focus on that memory, notice what you see or you hear or you feel, the people who are around you, what's going on. And perhaps you hear some sounds in the background, you notice the colours, what people are wearing and what's going on. Just focus on that. And if anything comes into your mind, just let it evaporate. Just focus purely on this memory as you do. And breathe naturally and normally. It's the earliest memory, as far back as you're comfortable going. And just go a bit further back. And Imagine a journey, it could be on a boat, it could be on a train, you could be on a plane, you could just be walking. And it's like taking this journey, or perhaps in a dream, or like watching a film. You know the film's not real, or the theater's not real, but you still enjoy it, and you know you're in control, and the experience you're having, and you can create an experience, and just go further back, and go further back, and and further back and, and as you go further back perhaps you notice at the point of when you were in utero perhaps you get a reflection of being a baby being held with love and warmth and you see yourself being held as a baby with love and warmth and perhaps you go back even earlier into a past life or perhaps you stay in this life it doesn't really matter it may not happen how and now it may happen at another time when you and if you go into a past life or into past lives notice where you are the surroundings the country the city the language the landscape just noticing the different components. Perhaps you hear some birds in the background, or some water gently, breathing naturally and normally. I'll pause for a moment. And you can go as far back as you feel comfortable going, or you can come back to the here and now, and if you come back to the here and now, you have complete control, or you can just enjoy the moment where you are and go as far back as you're comfortable going and as you go further and further back and just noticing different details. Noticing where you are, the city, the surroundings, the sounds. You may not see anything, it may just be a feeling and perhaps you have a name, a landscape. Take a moment to enjoy the experience and feel as comfortable as you feel going back. And as you do that, just 
enjoy the experience and as you enjoy the experience breathing naturally and normally and in a moment we're going to guide you back to the here and now and you can imagine now just gradually reorientating yourself so as you reorientate yourself, you just get a sense of awareness of who you are and what you're doing. And as you do that, just breathe naturally and normally. And perhaps you can bring back some learnings. And the learnings might come straight away or you might have these realizations an hour from now, a week from now, perhaps it's just an enjoyable experience. Okay. And just gently now, in your own time, in your own pace, reflecting on some of these pleasant memories that you've had as far back as you can remember. And bring back these pleasant feelings. It can be calmness peacefulness, just enjoying it and bringing it back in the here and now and in your own time, in your own pace, just gradually coming back and reorientating yourself to the here and now and as you come back to the here and now, in your own time, in your own pace. Just reorientate yourself. Take a deep breath and gradually open your eyes and notice your surroundings and where you are. And perhaps you're going to go back to doing what you're doing before and you're feeling fresh and revitalized and rejuvenated. Now, I did do the video yesterday evening which goes into more detail the technical aspects of the regression. And this is more of an experiential, just a, a gentle experiential exercise. Now I did say last night that if you are having clinical treatment then first check with your clinician before coming on board the course to see so okay to do so. Uh, and also the course itself is about potentially extending the skills to your remit, whatever your remit might be, but check with the organisation that you work for one. Um, if that's the case, happy for you to do so, or perhaps you're an existing therapist, you can sort of learn some new stuff, or maybe perhaps you just from an educational point of view, but from my point of view, regression, uh, I use various forms of regression activities with my clients, and I mentioned last night what I use them for, and generally I work around memory scripting, timeline regression, and sometimes I work content free, and sometimes I work at rescripting memory and reappraisal, so you have an experience at a certain point in your life, and you process that at that point but emotionally you still code it with the same intensity and we can sort of go back and, and reappraise the memory and I sort of mentioned that yesterday evening what I use it for in a number of areas if it's obviously appropriate and it's useful to the person I'm working with and in many instances the people I work with I sort of check first of all if they're seeing someone clinically or they have seen someone if it's okay to do so uh, or perhaps sometimes it might be for nerves around presenting or interview or being anxious about doing presentations sometimes people have an experience at school where they get told off for not doing their home and go to the front of the room and they get anxious presenting and I mentioned yesterday um, sometimes it can be useful phobias or in certain circumstances trauma or beliefs and so I use it around those areas and uh, in my experience the important thing is it's about the reappraisal um, and go as far back as you feel comfortable going or go as far back and in my experience over the years sometimes people do go back to past lives albeit I've been to various seminars over the years and I've been to one or two seminars the likes of Brian Weiss and he seems to be adamant around past lives and so on and so forth and, and that's okay and for me I've got one camp in the science and one camp in spiritual so I wouldn't dismiss that there could be past lives but in saying that I've not met anyone who's come back who's told me um, so I sort of have an open mind but I use it more to move people from maladaptive behavioural response to adaptive behavioural response and if they go as far back as they're comfortable going 
then that's the whole emphasis. That said, there have been people I've regressed who've gone to places that you probably would have hadn't been before and, and it's been quite fascinating. But then the way the mind works, it could just be an implicit response where I saw something on TV as a young person or, and it sort of read something somewhere. And, and so the mind's quite powerful in that sense. So for me, I have an open mind. I don't think science knows enough to rule uh, certain things out, but I think that we sort of know enough not to say yes for sure. And I use it more for that. Um, if you haven't booked on already, um, then do book on for Anne Marie, who's kindly hosting the event. If you've got any questions, then do email Mama Anne Marie and she can forward them on to me. Um, and as I said, if you are seeking clinical help, just speak to your clinical supervisor first of all to make sure it's suitable for you to come on board the course. It's going to be an exciting course. I'm looking forward to doing it. And we've got a, a wide range of people attending the course, so I'm really looking forward to doing it. So if you haven't watched today's video, do feel free to do so. Um, and if you've sort of managed to go through this process here and you feel it's suitable to go through it again and feel free to do so. The idea was to do a non-intrusive process for you just to sort of guide you uh, and get a feeling, uh, experiential feeling and understanding of, of regression. So thank you, have a great day and I might see you next week if you come along. If otherwise, thanks for watching.